already rested our case or at least announced that we will be resting our case formally tomorrow uh, with the pag natapos na po yung cross-examination doon po sa uh, last witness na hindi po na, na cross-examine or ayaw cross-examine kanina but once that is done the prosecution is ready to rest its, its case and uh, uh, as, as announced uh, our uh, chief prosecutor will be arriving uh, pinatawag po natin but uh, we are now solely depending, as far as we are concerned, we feel very strongly about our case in terms of having proved uh, Articles 2, 3, as well as 7, pagdating po dito sa uh, Articles of in uh, Impeachment na ating pong na-file. Parang gumaan po yung kwarto nung sinabi na mag-arrest na po yung prosecution. Parang naman ko po na parang maraming nasihan po sa inyo. But uh, at the end of the day, let's remember this is just a dismissal case. Wala mong pupunta sa kulungan ito. Wala mong mawawala ng ari-arian. It's just a dismissal case. Which is why we feel, katulad ng sinabi ni uh, Lead Prosecutor Tupas, we have presented enough evidence to warrant the dismissal of Chief Justice Corona from his position. Sir, question po. Um, ngayon po na sinabi na ni Congressman Tupas na tinatapos na po yung pagpresenta ng mga ebidensya at testimonya mula po sa mga testigo ng prosek. Uh, Nangangahulugan po ba na hindi nyo na ipupurso yung para kay Justice Sereno at uh, yung issue po ng dollar account si Chief Justice Corona? Uh, Nag-express reservation po siya with respect to the dollar accounts kung magbago po yung, uh, yung uh, decision po in case yung TRO ay malift po ay uh, we will be presenting. We've reserved the right to present evidence po on the dollar accounts. Yung kay uh, Chief Justice Corre Sereno, I think uh, it can be explained by... Uh, kay Justice Sereno po, it can be explained by uh, Congressman Tim. Well, as, as you know, we wrote the, the Justice Sereno this morning that if she could actually appear before the Senate so that she could testify, we have been asking her through uh, many channels. But I think what happened this afternoon at uh, 1.30, when the, or at 2 p.m., when the Supreme Court uh, spokesperson, Attorney Midas Marquez, announced, nung inanunso po niya na talagang nire-reiterate ng uh, Korte Suprema yung kanilang February 14 resolution na hindi lamang po uh, inalis yung kahit konting alinlangan ay talagang isinimento na po nila ang buong Supreme Court. Kahit yung mga process servers, messengers, na hindi na nila pinapayagan na magpunta rito sa impeachment proceedings, Knowing fully well that previously I nagpunta na po dito because of these developments, and it has come to our also our attention that particularly with the press conference earlier by Attorney Midas Marquez, we do not see anymore that we're not at all hopeful that Justice Sereno will actually show up before the halls of the Senate. And we felt like it was going to be unfair uh, to the defense as well as to the senators if we keep on dragging uh, itong ating plano po para i-rest na yung kaso uh, solely uh, on the fact na gusto natin siya magpakita dito. We need to terminate already the cases. In fact, this matter has been discussed by us for a long time. While it may have come as a surprise to some of you, uh, this matter, matagal na namin pinag-usapan, dalawang linggo na, uh, that we really wanted to rest. We were hoping that Justice Sereno would show up and uh, to be able to give meat, to further meat to Article 7. But based on our assessment last night, Article 7 can stand even without her. And uh, the press conference today in Imaidis Marquez clearly showed to us that Justice Sereno will not be able to show up uh, uh, before the Senate. Yes, sir, good afternoon. We are surprised. Okay. <laughs> but, sir, can we just get a, maybe a rough day, day when you decided na let's just stop it. And number two, um, how would you describe the effect of the Supreme Court decision on your case? Well, first of all, with respect to the question of, uh, can I decide on prosecution? Na, I 
three articles lang ito present. No? Matagal na talaga usapan, not just two weeks, no? Uh, no na mention kanina ni Congressman Nilo, could be more than that. Uh, hindi lang involved dito sa decision making ang uh, panel of prosecutors as well as spokespersons, but the speaker is involved as well as the majority leader. Uh, matagal na namin pinag-usapan ito because uh, originally yung Article 2, we thought na Article 2 mga two weeks lang natapos. But it dragged until one month. Naging isang buwan because siguro ang dami na rin, dami na rin mga evidence at yung strength also of Article 2. And uh, every day, especially last two weeks and last week, we had uh, a meeting every night by uh, all the all the prosecution uh, members as well as the spokespersons. And uh, this week, ngayong linggo, we uh, finally decided this week that we will terminate uh, the presentation of our evidence after Article 7. And yun ang nangyari ngayong araw. Sir? Sir? Ang uh, final, final decision happened uh, kahapon. No? Although matagal na process na but we decided finally yesterday late afternoon after the the hearing that uh, we will terminate the presentation of our evidence. Sig siguro, uh, dagdagan ko na rin yung uh, I think uh, importante din yung fact that what even bolstered the decision para tapusin na natin ito is essentially we felt very very confident in fact after Article 2 we were already contemplating to rest already because the evidence was overwhelming. Secondly is Yung developments doon sa Supreme Court ng Feb 14 na talagang pinagbabawalan na nila yung ng mga employees and even basic documents na noon pinapayagan nila. Yung uh, rolyo, yung, uh, 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 yung uh, minutes ng raffle at iba pa na pinagbawalan na nila, we felt like it was going to be very, very difficult already, particularly for Article 1, which would have been the next uh, article to be presented because practically all of the evidence there would have come from the Supreme Court. So, lahat yung mga circumstances na yun bolstered our previous decision as a group na talagang let's terminate it all within the soonest time possible considering that we already have enough evidence, in fact, overwhelming evidence to prove uh, or support a conviction. Nagbigyan uh, ko yan, nagbigyan ko yan para complete the picture. After Article 2, actually, uh, major, majority of the members of the prosecution they wanted us to terminate the presentation of evidence because of the mere strength na sinabi ni namin spokesperson of Article 2. Pero at the time, we felt that we have to uh, present and complete the story. The storyline as we mentioned. That's why tumuloy kami sa Article 3. There was another decision point nung uh, hindi pinayagan yung uh, Vice President of uh, PAL. We were contemplating then, kung hindi pa payagan ito, paano namin mag-prove ang aming kaso? At uh, matatali na talaga yung kamay ng prosecution. And there was also a decision, uh, an important decision making that was done there, na kung doon na lang mag -rest. But we decided to go on and go doon sa uh, temporary screening order to complete the story uh, of the impeachment complaint. And finally, Finally, we felt that we, have, that we have presented more than enough to remove the Chief Justice. Kaya kami na, kaya tinapos na namin. I just want to emphasize na ito lahat, itong, uh, itong termination of the presentation of evidence is subject to the dollar account deposits of the Chief Justice. So, pwede kami bumalik sa Article 2 if ever merong favorable decision from the Supreme Court. Sir, sir konti lang last na tawag. Uh, the Supreme Court decision not to allow certain justices to appear, was that a factor in dropping a...